damage, near fall. And I don't know where Bill Clark learned to count to 10 at, but he wasn't doing a very good job of it. Dropping that second elbow. And that's usually the setup for the vertical leap from APOC. Man, what impact from the heavyweight champ. Still think they're evenly Thomas. matched. Oh, I <laughs> might want to rephrase that. Yeah, well, may eat my words before the end of this one. APOC's been in control now, but Adam Revolver's still fighting back. Pride's not the only thing on the line. Once again, scouted the maneuver. And now putting him in a sleeper hold. APOC with that sleeper trying to bring Revolver down to the ground, trying to slowly drain the life, wheeze the life out of Adam Revolver's lungs. And prime real estate for a sleeper hold, Kenny, right in the center of that ring. Yeah, no, can't get to any ropes. Can't get to the edge of the apron, can't reach out and, well, I guess he could reach out and maybe, see, this is where the devious mind comes in. If I was in that much trouble, I might reach out and bap the referee one, but then you get disqualified and you don't get the belt. So no advantage there. APOC, 220 some pounds across the head and neck of Adam Revolver. Revolver is fading, sucking wind. You can see he's gassed, yeah, man. Yeah, he's got, he ain't got much left. One more drops, APOC will retain the heavyweight title. He barely held it up. And almost, I thought Adam Revolver was almost a nerd at that point at the drop of that third. Revolver, one of those athletes feeds off the energy of the people. Well, he's needing it right now because he ain't got much else on his side. Revolver's motivated back to his feet. And Revolver able to reverse the hold. And again, an in-air counter, cover, two count by Adam Revolver, the challenger. And APOC most upset. I think he really thought he had him when he had him in the sleeper. Bill Clark maybe took his time raising that arm to three times. Done it a little quicker, it may have dropped that third time. Well, my guess is what's going through APOC's head, besides that turnbuckle, is the fact that he knows Adam Revolver's a distance competitor. The guy can, the guy can go the distance. So well, I'll give you that. So he wanted to finish this one as early as possible, and that's not going to be the case right now. Revolver with a beautifully executed textbook bulldog hook of the leg. Whoa, man! But a split second away from a new champ. Regardless of how long those matches go, Revolver normally has a, a partner over there. He can look over there to tag. Looking for that Russian leg sweep. APOC coming off with the knee. Both these guys have each other well scouted. And this is, I don't know if this is the smartest maneuver in the world. He's wanting to go high risk. Nobody's ever accused these guys of being smart. They're just putting their body on the line for what's at stake. But he had revolver down. He, might, he probably should have went for at least a pen there. Maybe he just didn't think it was enough. Dangerous, dangerous scenario for both these individuals. In this heavyweight title match. Revolver firing away on APOC. What's he set? He's looking for that Russian leg oh sweep. Oh my lord, is he gonna? Yeah, he oh. tried it. But once again, APOC for about the fifth time tonight outsmarted him. APOC with that knee from the second that rope. That is trouble, my friend. That is the coup de grace. Yeah. APOC Two. will retain. Good effort, but not quite enough. Here is your winner, and still OVW Heavyweight Champion, APOC. This is where a tag on Man Beast would come in handy. APOC. With that devastating knee from the second Adam Revolver, trying to leave it out all in the ring, but to no avail, still your heavyweight champ, that man, the sadistic APOC.